was a brother that worked at Home Depot, and he ran into a customer that was a rabid white supremacist. And I want you to hear what this brother is going to state, how this white supremacist talked to him. Well, now, he was racially abused by a white supremacist customer, and Home Depot ended up firing him and not kicking out the customer or banning them permanently from the company or any kind of stores. Let's roll the clip. Yeah. When Maurice Rucker was working at the Albany Home Depot last Thursday, a customer approached the checkout with an unleashed dog, so Maurice tried to be a good employee. I said to him, I said, sir, when you have your dog in here, we prefer that you keep it on a leash. He turned around and said, F you, you're a, you're a piece of Maurice was understandably shocked, but it was just the start of a barrage of insults, some of them racist. He says if, uh, if Trump wasn't president, you wouldn't even have a job. Like, I've worked, he said, you're from the ghetto, what do you know? I've lived all over the country, and I've had no one talk to me the way that this guy talked to me. Finally, Maurice couldn't help but say something to him. You're lucky I'm at work, because if I wasn't, this wouldn't be happening, or you wouldn't be talking to me like this. The man left, then came back, because he forgot his dog, insulted Maurice again, and was gone. That incident with the customer happened last Thursday, and when Maurice responded to work this Tuesday, he was informed he was being fired. Seems to be a pretty drastic step to take given his long-term employment with the company, and that he says he was just named cashier of the month. I contacted Home Depot, and spokesman Stephen Holmes told me Rucker did not follow protocol for dealing with an angry customer, saying the problem here is that he had several opportunities to disengage and contact management to deal with the customer. We're appalled by this customer's behavior, but we also must require associates to follow proper protocol to defuse a situation for the sake of their safety and the safety of other associates and customers. Maurice says managers told him the customer called to complain about him. He said that I was being racist. That you were? Th yeah, that I was being racist and that I said that I would knock him down. And he, I mean, he just like told him a bunch of lies. And it seems like they believed him. After 10 years with the company, Maurice says he was making less than $13 an hour. He said he's considering contacting an attorney. Looking forward, he hopes to find a job working with children. Among his duties at Home Depot was running the kids' workshops. Now, the update to this story is Home Depot did offer this man his job back. But if I was him, I would not go back to that job. I'm going to tell you why. When they heard about the incident, and then they talk to him about it. If they're so appalled about what happened, you're not going to fire someone for that. That's first and foremost. This brother worked there about 10 years, and he's barely getting a little over $12 an hour. That's the other reason why I could work for them, because they're not paying you anything. That is a waste of time. If you're on a company, if you're on a job for 10 years, and you're barely making any kind of money, it shows what they really think about you as a person. That's why it was so easy for them to fire him even though he was racially abused. It, it doesn't make any kind of sense. Now, one thing that I will say that the brothers should have done was when that happened, he should have said something, not so much because he wanted them to solve it for him, but if they would have retaliated like this against him and he reported it and had it in, in documentation, he could have sued for retaliation and got paid. Big time. Because you cannot retaliate on someone. That man was following the rules about a service dog. He wanted to walk around with this animal, not on the leash. I mean, come on, you, nobody know what that dog's going to do. So that's common sense. Or someone will go up to you and say, hey, put the dog on a leash. But no, how dare that black man tell me anything. I'm going to go and act like how I normally act. Just a straight savage from the cave. And I'm going to just act primitive and just use the N-word and, and yell and whatever else. And then I'm going to act like I'm the victim and go call corporate. It's it making me sick. It's making me sick. But anyway, I hope this brother could get something else. Um, I hope he don't go back to Home Depot because, like I said, if they would have treated me that way, I would want no, any kind of job from them at all. But leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this particular story. Just remember, a job should pay you. And the oh, jobs sure. will always have your back, period.